to a rumple video. I want to make a video to show you how I manage level 85. My daily routine. Once you get to level 85, things, things kind of slow down. There's no more leveling up. And you can kind of coast it. Um, as you notice, I'm at 20 million gold. 920 gems. And I've not been buying gems every day. When I do buy gems, I buy them in the five dollar bracket. And like with anything out there in the real world, without money, you can't do anything. Um, even five dollars a week can help you more than you imagine. If you don't have any money to spend, well of course it will be slower. Um, but I'm just going to show you how I manage it, even not spending any money today, and getting your tickets in, farming, and so forth. With that said, you've got three purchases of 50. So, I will purchase three of those. I'm at 570 energy right there. I can spend all that and get my 600 tickets. And then I'll spend another 100 here. So between those two, I've got enough for my energy today, for tickets. Um, the other thing, don't, once you reach your 600 tickets, don't spend anymore. Eight hours. Wait till the eight hour period is up, your new activity starts, then go get new tickets. There's no sense in spending more now and getting in a rush, and then when it comes time, Eight hours later, you won't have any tickets left or any energy left to get your tickets. Be patient. Slow down. Also, you don't have to concentrate on guild activities every day. You can get tickets in Cantina, Light, Dark Energy without doing the guild activities. Like today, it's Dark Side Battles. So if you do Dark Side Battles today, of course you're going to get guild energy. Um, I don't concentrate as hard as that. You can see I'm not even in there. I'm probably way down on the bottom. But I do get my 600 tickets. And once again, I'm not going to buy anymore until 8 hours and 30 minutes goes by. And the refresh comes up. Well, I'm sorry. It's daily challenges. The dark side battles will be later. And I will wait to do any dark side battles until it changes till then. I'll reset 0 out of 600 in 8 hours. Dark side battles will come up, and then I'll go do that. You can wait to do your daily activities. As you notice, it's 13 hour reset. This eight hour reset. So if you want to save all of your energy, you don't have to do any of this until that resets at eight hours and 30 minutes. So finding a way and getting a routine really does help, especially if you're on a budget. Um, so, basically, don't do any of these, you can sit and wait, you got to learn to be patient, don't go get them done, until your daily challenges ends in 8 hours, when your daily challenges ends in 8 hours, dark side battles will come up, go and do these, you can do 10 total battles in dark side, five battles and hard difficulty you can do on dark side and if it's not on dark side it's still going to count towards your tickets you just won't get that guild energy another thing is getting yourself high in the arena as you can I try to stay in top 10 at least I get 250 at times and I get into, I get into the top spot that 500 helps more than you know if you can get yourself into the top 100 you get a hundred gems that right there would get you two resets at the 50 use these wisely I don't know where you're at in this but get yourself as high as possible the gems will help to me I'm in where am I at? I'm in the top 20, so I know I'm getting 200. So work yourself as best you can in the arena and use these gems wisely. 
Um, I do mod challenges every day. I like tenacity mods. It's just for me. You can use any mod you want. I will sim. I do it in a hundred count, just the way I like to do it. That's a hundred towards my energy. Then I would go back and figure out where I need to spend that energy. What character needs upload upgrading? Who should I spend it on? That's something you've got to figure out instead of just spending it blindly. At the moment, I'm working on Sidious. So when eight hours comes up and it changes the dark energy, I'm needing stun cuffs. I'm 18 out of 50. It's slow. Once again, don't get in a hurry. Take your time. You don't have to have everything today or tomorrow or this week. Believe it or not, you take a break from leveling up, hold on, I'll get to that in a minute. So light side, 10. I like to do the cheaper one. There's one on dark side, 10. So in eight hours, when it changes, I will do the, I do these in 10. You can do them all the way you want. I do them in 100 count. If I did five of these at 500, I'd get 500 energy. And then plus at 100 I spent in my cantina energy, I'd have all 600 energy. And 500 of that energy went to the dark side. So I would get some guild energy. And don't be in a hurry. Um, believe it or not, if you sit back and let all this add up. Let me show you what I've got. I'm not the highest now. I just spent... I'm at 6,000. I had to buy furnaces. Well, I had to buy these. I was... um, I got my... Savage to gear 11 and he needed 50 of those. These are the only place you can get them in here So and they're 800 for two So the longer you let this energy build up the more you can buy these I like to get it to around 10 grand or 10k of energy and then I start buying things Remember sit and wait Buying the canteen every day builds this energy up. I'm at 3,000 Galactic War. That's something you can control a lot better. I like to keep my Galactic War where I can restart it and do it again. Two at one time, all the time. That's just the way I like it. And especially when it comes on Galactic War days and the guild energies, you can get three done if you load it up right. Plus, this is where I've been getting my Biggs and my Ahsoka. I'm working on getting her to 100 as you can see him to a hundred I use him in fleet so the guilds that's how I do my galactic war keep it where you can restart it all the time that way you can go in and get two battles or two full runs if you need it as you can see I've got 2900 I could go buy some which I need to do Let me go ahead getting so close and be patient you can also get Ahsoka and Biggs in the fleet store, but I'm concentrating on Zetas, so I've not been buying anything in fleet store, which makes it so much longer for me to get ships and so forth. But that's what you've got to figure out. That's just how I'm doing it. So I've not been spending anything in here on ships or anything else. For me, it's all Zetas. And you can see I've got 2,700. I'll go ahead and buy one. Now I'm down to 715. But I've got 12 Zetas. It's a slow process. Like I said, slow down. Level 85 is where it should get to be fun. Where you can concentrate on other things instead of leveling up. The fleet arena. Of course, like the PvP arena, the higher you stay, the better your prizes. So I'm at 715. If I stay in the top 10, I'll have 2,000 again tonight. I could buy another Zeta. Or, take your time and stack this up. I had 20k one time. 
when you have more energy to spend, you can do other things. Like if you had 20k fleet money, well, I could buy a ship if I needed it. I could get some tunes if I needed it. I could get some gear if I needed it. And get a Zeta. I'm not saved up as you can see, but... Um, ship challenges, if you're doing Zetas, weekend comes, you know, find a way to get your Zetas. Let's see, I covered energy, taking your time, when they spin and buy things. Um, challenges, of course, you can do those anytime. I think that about covers everything on taking your time and saving things up. Oh, squadron. Oh, no, it doesn't. I want to show you how I've been getting shard shop money. As you can see, I've got 13k in here. I save it. My gold is so high, I don't need to buy gold. But this is what I do with this. I'm maxed out on mace. And I know it. It's fine. I'm maxed out on Chief Nebit. I'm maxed out on Grand Nef Tarkin. I've been doing Leia. Let me go ahead and get some of her. Got 12k, you can spend it. I maxed out on Ventress. I'm not maxed out on AK, but you can see I've got him to where he'll be seven stars. Got IG88 where he'll be seven stars. So I don't worry about that anymore. Eth is maxed. Stormtrooper is maxed. And Sidious is maxed. Now, when you let this energy add up, look, I still got 10k left. Now, with all that max stuff I just bought, come over here. 525. And look, I'm sitting at 8k, and I'm not spending it. I've been working on, ooh, there's a furnace. I have one already. I could buy another if I wanted. I could sit on it and use this wisely. Sometimes I could get right there. Darth Vader ship. Just something I'm wanting to do. I do need to upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and buy. No, I'll wait. But give you an idea of how to spend it. I could get 30 Grievances if I wanted. I have a five star Grievous. So my point is slow down and save things. It gives you more options when you're out doing stuff. I come over here in Cantina and show you. I just got 500 energy or 500 shard ship money. I can come over here and do the same thing. Look. Soak is maxed. Jawa Scavenger is maxed. I've been, I've been buying fives. He's not maxed. So we'll buy fives. Because you do need clone troopers later on in the HAAT for sure. And I'll do one more here. Now my canteen engine went down. Spend it, get it back up, save it. So if I come back over here to shard shop money, another 300. And save it up. The more you save, the more you can do when it's higher up. And that, in a nutshell, is how I run my level 85 from day to day. Ah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.